you guys doing now in preparation for the fight? Endless rehearsals. Uh, Production means a rehearsal. So by the time we start, we don't know what we're saying. I wanted to ask the flight doctor about this chafing problem I'm having. For now, I'd say calc powder. Talc? Yeah. In any particular? No, just all over. Let me ask you guys this, too. Any, any advice to young fighters right now starting out? A guy in the, like the world champion. Don't do it. Don't do it? Uh, learn uh, accounting, bookkeeping, and law. <laughs> Above all, law. And if you can, be a manager. That's me, Brian Adams, about to enter the biggest fight of my amateur boxing career. Tonight will determine the 1996 United States Championship. If you were to ask me five months ago if I ever imagined getting to this point, I wouldn't have been so sure. This is my story. Well, this is the Metro tournament. This, um, this leads you out to the U.S. Championship right out in Colorado Springs. First step to where we want to go, where our goal is, right? So what you got to do is you got to go out there and make believe that's the number one guy in the country, the number two guy in the country, number three guy in the country. You got to get past these guys and efficiently, all right? All right, let's go. Good luck. Boxing is not as easy as it looks. You have guys in there that tries hard. They may not be successful, but they're giving it their all. You have to really respect that. He lived in my neighborhood, and I was constantly into street brawls. He picked me up off the streets and took me down to the gym with him one day. You know, I, I took a liking to it. It's something that I stuck with. It seems like fighting was the only thing I knew how to do well. So I just decided to use that energy, you know, in a positive way. My second fight in this, another step to get out to the national. So good, I hate waiting around. That's what I hate the most. Ninety-five percent of the time, I'm sort of in a zone. I can see the person standing in front of me. It's like I'm looking foolish. I'm going to be the first time he came right at me. He really? But this fight, he, was, he didn't want to come at me. Well, actually, the most common question people ask me: Doesn't it hurt when you get you get hit? <laughs> yeah, of course it hurts. You know that's why you try to get hit as less as possible. Shimmy y'all, shimmy yam, shimmy yam. Give me the mic so I can take a wood. Cut that eye there, buddy. Okay, now you ready. Go get him, go get him. Go get him. All right, you ready? Hope it's dope. I understand you, you met one of my idols, one of the most decent men in, in the world. Yes. A man who should run for president of the United States. Yes. Don King. Money, 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 money. Money! And his real name actually is Don, but people don't know it. Don King? No, it's just Don King. Don King. Now, Frank Bruno, does he dare you at all? Yes, man. Oh, man, he's ripped. He's frightening because he has confidence. Oh, man, it's an honor from God. I thought yes. you would never have. Pinky collect another black banana. Ping, 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 ping. There you go. And there it is. Reaching up to the head. Yes, as long as I continue to take the two by four out of my eye before I take the splinter out of yours, you will continue to ascend. <laughs> but the day that I think that the sun rests in second me, I, 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 and not we and us, that is the day my star will cascade very precipitously. It'd be the more Don King. And then when you realized the, the, the planet that Mr. King comes from, yeah. you were able to respond with, uh, there you go. Yeah. Thanks very much. Don? Yes, I, I love see, you, man. I see you at the party. Yes. And now that you know my secret, don't tell that lady named Delilah. Yes, don't let Delilah know. I got nothing to say. <laughs> MTV, the place to be if you like music. In a rhapsody. Yes. <laughs> Rhythm and roll and salsa, too. Rockin' Beethoven, if you really like to be blue. Yes, MTV! Ah. Speed. Danger. Fly. Yeah. I speak. I speak. I speak. Sorry. In me burns the desire to become what I want to be. To become what I have to be. To become what I can be. I fight you with everything I am. All the pain, all the training, all the knowledge is within my eyes hands, feet, and every muscle. I have fought you in my mind, round after round, night after night, and I have won. I'm a flame flickering, eluding your every move. You cannot predict my actions. 
Each time you come at me, you fuel my fire. Feed me. I grow stronger, faster, tougher. I burn off your oxygen, your air, your spirit. I consume you, leaving nothing but ashes. Poetry in Motion by Squirt. Do you know who Christy Martin? You heard him talking about Christy Martin. Yes. The yes. female boxer? Yes. She she wanted a piece of me. That's one thing. I only want to fight women, no okay. men. Well, maybe one. And you gave her a piece, did you? Yeah, I she I she you you don't want any of this, is what I told her. And you know what she told me? She saw uh, she gave me the hand. I got one of these. Talk to the glove. Baby. Uh, uh, I, I dig you. you. You've been fighting for how long? Professional? Uh, five years. I saw the fight you had in fe the first fight you had in February, I think. Right. And you just pretty much toe to toe. That's that's my style. You don't mess the, around. Just kind of like Mike, go out there and take care of business. So you want to be like Mike? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm gonna knock this girl out, just like oh, you he's are? gonna knock out Bruno. Oh, you think so? Yeah. He's gonna take him. I hope yeah, so because Frank dissed me. Where is TV? You have one thing, Frank? Frank, Frank just blew us up. Frank Cortez from MTV. Right. And I asked Frank to rap. Frank wouldn't even rap. Bust the rhyme. You're a rapper, man. You know, MTV wouldn't even rap. Oh, baby, yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. He's but enough rapper. about Frank. No, he's not a rapper. He's a paper brown paper rapper or something like that. MTV, over and out. Yeah. OK, so okay. we got Frank. The winner, the coal miner's daughter, Christy Martin. If someone to come up to you and say, how do I start? What would you say? What would be the first thing you would tell them to do? First, you have to decide, are you ready to dedicate your life to this? Because you have to be very dedicated. You have to be very disciplined. It's lifelong. Right? You always have to be thinking about the boxing, training, running. So on your mind all the time. Front, back, side to side. We be giving it up to the day we die. We're my second home, I like to call it. P.A.O. gym out in Hollis, Queens. This is a place where I could come in and relax and really concentrate on training. You gotta come to the gym. You gotta work out hard. You gotta push yourself. If you never push yourself in the gym, you wouldn't know your capabilities in a fight. Right now, Brian is one of the top boxers in the country. He's uh, ranked number five, I believe. He wants to be number one. He just needs to work a little bit, a little bit harder and knock off one of these top guys and you know, propel him right into the number one, number two position. Right now, I'm about to kick in here with, with a couple of important fights. Within a week, I have, I have to travel out to Dallas to compete in a national competition. Boxing is all a mental game. It's all a sight game. I like to get into the minds of my opponents. You know, I'm ranked hot in Jermaine. I feel like the fight will be in my favor. And at the same time, he has in his mind, he wants to take over my spot. He wants to get ranked as high as me. I'm scared 98% of my fights. Um, if someone tell you they're not, they're not afraid of getting in there, you know, they're, they're not honest with themselves. When I get into the ring, no matter what the guy does, I have something that's going to offset what he does. I'm not going to let him hit me. I'm going to control the fight. Most of the time it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. That was like the lowest point of my boxing career, because I have never got pounded on, like a beat on like I did in Dallas. You know, um, that was the first time, and, and, and I promised myself that that was going to be the last time. I promised myself that I, that I wouldn't lose again. Out of the blue corner, you may feel. It's pretty hard on my mother to watch me, you know, get into the ring, get hit or punches or whatever. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not for the fighting, but he's into it, he's devoted to it. And every mother like their child is to see what they start, you know, to finish through. But like you say, there's fears and scares, you know, I don't want, you know, I brought a healthy child in the world, you know, and I don't want nobody taking them out before the Lord says time. I think if you, if you fight and you're defeated and you don't learn anything from it, that's a loss. I learned a lot from that fight yesterday, so I feel I won. Next time I'm going into national competition, 
I know I'll be up for anything, prepared for anything, ready for anything. So that's what I'm looking forward to, my next competition. <laughs> So the Eastern Regionals, I felt like my system was back intact. I was back doing what I do best, boxing. Using my head, using my speed, and I witting guys. I out to fight time about 15 minutes till I glove up, get my hands wrapped. So I'm ready, I just don't like to wait around. I'm gonna box the hell out of that guy. One, two, three. I'm gonna have fun though. I'm gonna box relax and have fun. It's like a natural high. When you can hit someone and they just crumble in front of you. You have that power when you're inside the ring. Right off the shoulders. Right off the shoulders. Okay, you got him. It went just like I thought it would go. Two days, two wins. Home, back in the gym. I'm ready for Colorado. It's for the championship of the world. Whoa. I expect a tough, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions here? Yeah, who's going to win the, the presidential election? Oh, oh, Any sorry. questions here? Uh, how many legs does it take to get to the center of a two-three-row, two-two-five? Let's get it on! All right. All right. How many title fights have you done now? This will be the age six. You've got this fight tonight. What do you, we're wondering, like, what are you looking for when, when you think somebody's hurt? I look for the neck muscles. If a guy gets hit and rocks straight back, he's yeah. okay. But if you see his head begin to wobble and lose control of neck muscles, he's in trouble. And then if I talk to him, I don't know where he looks. I don't care what he says. I don't know if he looks at me and focuses on me. Right. And if he doesn't do that, he's in real trouble. Yeah. And then you'll call it. I'll say that's it. It's enough. So have you have you ever been been hit obviously accidentally while I got I got hit by Julio Ramirez when he was fighting Macho Camacho I wobbled but I didn't go down Oh you stayed up I Did you give your you give yourself the own standing eight count no, Did you I could I could have taken one Oh okay An inside look at boxing with the extreme team known as MTV Sports, brought to you by Reebok. Are you prepared to say this is my planet? By Squirt. Drench it, quench it, squirt your thirst. And by Union Bay, Union of the Hip. Keep it here, there's more MTV Sports on the way. And I'm out. It's nothing that makes me shout. Lights, let's feel it. Hey, that really knocks me Ooh. out. Yeah. This is the champ, Joe Frazier. Uh-oh. The champ, John Amos. The chumps, Dan and Johnny. So who do you, I mean, you look at Frank Bruno's in great condition. But you don't think that's going to help him? So am I. Yeah, but you, you can get in the ring with Mike right now. OK. He wasn't even smoking. Where's that nickname I know, come from? I don't know. You know what I think? It's I think he made it up himself. Yeah. It's kind of a cool nickname, yeah. like Iron Mike Tyson. Right. Smoking Joe right. Frazier. Right. Jumping Johnny Silverman. Yeah, dancing Danny Cortez. Woohoo! Look at the movement. Check out the movement. I was watching that. Really nice. Easy, easy fighter, easy yeah, fighter. Right. Okay, uh, and what plie? Oh, okay. That's first position. All right. You know, this is, and you, this whole thing, you could do the plie. That's right. a whole intimidation factor. A lot of guys like to stare down. Right, right, right. Not me. I go with the ballet. Right. Now what do you come out? If you come out of the corner and I come up and I go like this, what are you thinking? I'm scared. See? I'm running. But I got no place to hide. That's right. How much of it is conditioning? How much of it is uh, heart and mind? Let's put all uh, the kids on the side. You know, it's a, it's a fight, it's a war. I mean, anything can happen. The guy's in shape and he's preparing himself over the years for this. And then what do you have to do to get the job done? Huh? Anything can happen. We're currently going into the quarterfinals at um, US Championships, which are tomorrow. I have, I have a pretty tough bout. I have a guy, he applied pressure on you, you know, from, from round one to round three. But I feel good, you know, my legs feel strong. I just box him for three rounds, and it should be an easy fight. Shows you get close to get your combination off and get out of there. Buddy instructs me on exactly which way the guy's moving. You know, how I can offset that. When he start to do this, I do that. When he start to do that, I do this. 
you know, you reach with that jab too, baby. You gotta snap that jab a little more. And it seems to be working. You know, the corner's like the third out. Once you got to merge you with your sleep, and you lost your concentration. Let's finish the show. We can't take no chances now. In the second round, I gave him an eight count. I felt that I had rhythm going. I started to drift mentally a little. My buddy kept telling me, don't go to sleep. To do a thing like that, then when I hit you with a boom, because you are a sucker and you're running at a time. Joy, joy, everlasting joy. Oh, right now he's coming along. He's fight. You know, he, he did what I expected. He improved with this fight. And this is what I expect him to do. Completed my semifinal bout. I was victorious. There's nothing like having a national title, U.S. championship title. I'll be ranked number one, you know. And that's what I'm looking for. The fight is very personal for me. But I have to thank Jermaine for doing what he did to me in Dallas because that matured me a lot. I'm gonna be more focused because I'm gonna take it to heart more. This guy, he really, you know, beat me the last time out. It won't happen a second time with, you know, the way it happened in Dallas. I'll show you that. The hardest part is, is the walk to the ring. The only thing really going through my mind is um, failure. Not so much losing. Um, I don't mind losing as long as I give my all. Most people, Worry about disappointing people around them. The only person I worry about disappointing is myself. And that brings us up to date to the United States Championship Finals. But no matter what happens here tonight, I'll keep my head up and I'll still be a winner within. That left hand work. As soon as you shoot, you, you catch his jab, you come over the top with it, man. You wait too long, baby. Let's pick it up this round. Introducing first in the red corner and Illinois, Anthony Stewart. Also, maybe to the consistent performers in boxing today. Oh! 
in the world. Pop and Al Bernstein back. So last night, Antonio. Victory over Anthony Stewart advancing to the. Need his trials victory and win a spot on the United States boxing team. Zaya Rahim from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, champ at 119.